Welcome back to Simply Money. Today, we're going to look at how you can unlock the secrets to financial success and learn how your net worth holds the key to building wealth and securing your future. Join us as we delve into the dynamics of net worth, uncovering strategies to increase it and achieve financial independence. What is net worth? Let's first cover a few basics. We're going to look at what net worth is. Net worth is simply taking everything that you own, subtracting everything you own. You want to add all your assets, bank accounts, investments, vehicles, your home, anything that you own, what it's valued at, those are your assets. Then you have to subtract your debts, your liabilities. So if you have a house that's worth $300,000 and you owe $250,000, in your asset line, you'd put $300,000. In your liability, you would put $250,000 because that's what you owe on your house. Then you would subtract that, and that would give you the net worth of $50,000. If you have other debts, you have to put those in your liabilities, car notes, student loans, credit cards, anything that is a debt, anything that you owe goes into that liability. And that's how you figure out what your net worth is. Why is knowing your net worth important? Because it helps you have a financial heart rate. Financial heart health is important. Knowing where you stand financially so you can set your goals. If you don't know where you are, you won't know how to get to where you want to go. We have a great platform that monitors your financial health. It's a financial heart health monitor. It takes in consideration your debt, your spending, your savings rates, all sorts of factors. And it gives you a score and monitors if you're making improvement or decreasing, just like monitoring your blood pressure. You want to see that going down, but with the financial health, you want to see it going up. And it has a nice little graphic showing you that, and it's on the dashboard, a great opportunity. So we're going to look at the median and the mean because they're very different. The mean is the average. You add up all the numbers. And you subtract it by the number of people that you are counting. So if you have 10 people, you add up all their net worth, and then you divide it by 10. That is the average. Average is nice to know, but it is heavily skewed because of the high earners, because of high the the one percent, the the one tenth percent. You have your billionaires who skew things way off to the higher end. So a more realistic feeling of where you stand in net worth is the median, the middle number. Compared to everybody, middle number is the median. So it doesn't matter how many people are really far off the outliers that are way off on the far distance of the chart. The median just takes those, that middle number and that gives you a good idea that half the people are below that and half the people are above that. It gives you a nice figure to go for and see where you stand in comparison to the general population. We're going to start by looking at the median and the average of the entire American households. And then we'll break it down into different age brackets because there's no reason for you, if you're 25 years old, looking and comparing yourself to someone who's 50 or 60 years old, who's had many more years to accumulate their net worth, to build equity in their home, to build up their retirement accounts. That's why we talk so much on Simply Money about creating a plan, the financial framework to build your net worth. If you haven't looked at some of these other videos, check out the description below. There's some video links there. There's a great opportunity for you to see the platform we use to track all your financial needs in one place. So the median household net worth in all American households, is $121,700. The average mean is $746,821. That's a big difference. You see how the high earners, the higher net worth individuals really pull that up. So half the people are below 121000 Half the people are above that, but the average is way above that because those outliers really skew that data. 
I like looking at the median that gives you a better idea of the average everyday American household and where they're at. Now, let's break this down into age brackets. Get a better idea. Where do you stand individually based on your age? So under 35, these are you know, our younger folks just getting into their career, maybe just finishing up college or graduate school, just figuring out where they want to go, maybe just starting their families. A lot of things going on. They may have accumulated a home, mortgage, they have car payments, they may have student loan payments still outstanding. So their median net worth is 13900 and the average is 76300 There's not huge discrepancy there at this younger age that you see in the overall and that you'll see as we get later in years as the average really takes off in comparison to the median. Again, this is net worth. This isn't just how much cash do you have. This is just how much is in your savings account or in your retirement account. This is all your assets subtracting all your liabilities. That's why in Simply Money, we really teach going debt-free, removing as many of those liabilities as possible. Because not only does that drive up your net worth, it reduces your cost of living, which in essence allows you to add more to your retirement investments, savings to be able to increase that net worth and pull that, where do I stand as far as how much do I own, how much do I have, versus how much do I have need of each month to live off of. So our next age bracket is 35 to 44. These are our younger families getting started, a lot of things going on still, but their median net worth bumps up quite a bit there to $91,300. But here's where you see a big difference now, the average net worth goes to 436200 Huge disparity starting to take place here as high earners are really beginning to come along. People who have maybe started their own business, people who have even sold the business, different things have come along that these folks are starting to break away with their net worth on the average. Again, the median, $91,300. Maybe they've built a little bit of equity into their uh, home. They've been participating in their 401k, getting that free match money that's free from your employer. So their net worth is starting to increase as we get in, into these later years here. Next band is 45 to 54-year-olds. These are people who are starting to think about retirement. This is where you start really thinking, oh, I need to get a little serious here. It's coming up fast. Life has gone fast. I've been raising my kids. Maybe your kids are starting to move out, finish college, whatever the case may be, especially in the latter part of this early 50s, start getting the empty nest, different things going on, possibly reaching the higher potential of your earning. Not always, not everyone's trajectory of earning. It takes a nice smooth tail from lower to higher. Some people go up and down. A lot of people at this age are like, you know what, I don't need to make as much. I'm going to get a less stressful job now. I don't need to put in the hours that I was putting in before, whatever the case may be. These people now have $168,600 worth of net worth on the median, middle person. Half the people are below that, half the people are above that. The average has doubled from the prior age group, 833 thousand two hundred dollars so the net worth has really increased on average again for this age bracket but the median of one hundred sixty eight thousand six hundred dollars if you're in this age bracket this is where you need to start looking thinking well this is my net worth this could be including your home what do you have in retirement what do you have in liquid assets that you could use toward retirement where are you going to be at in you know, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, when you're ready to retire, do you have the source of income to provide the needs? This is where you have to get serious. If you're at this point, you have to start looking at how can I reduce my budget? How can I reduce my monthly expenses so I can increase my net worth and reduce the amount I need to be able to sustain a healthy and enjoyable retirement? Now we get into the pre-retirement, early retirement years, 55 to 64. This age group, their net worth has reached $212,500. dollars 
and the average is $1,175,900. Let's look at this median from the 45 to 54 to this 55 to 64 bracket. It did not increase that much. This is where we need to start really looking. These are people who are already starting to retire or getting ready to retire, and their net worth has not increased significantly from the prior bracket. And this is where we need to be making great headway into our retirement. Take advantage of the catch-up in your 401k, your IRA, your HSA, whatever accounts you have where you can add more to that because you're over 50 or over 55 if it's an HSA. You can add catch-up contributions to that so your limit is higher and you need to take advantage of that if you're able. Again, watch some of the other videos, read some of the articles we have on our site on how to get out of debt, how to increase your net worth, how to reduce your spending so you can increase your contributions to your savings and your retirement and your equity and your assets, because it is vital that you get yourself to a place where you can be sustained for your retirement. Now let's look at 65 to 74. These are typically people who are retired and their net worth has gone up to $266,400 for the median. Again, this did not increase significantly from the last band, and the average, the mean, has gone up to just over $1.2 million. Again, that didn't increase significantly, but it did go up. Now, these numbers, to me, are a little bit concerning because you're not going to retire on $266,000. So this means you probably have either very low investments, retirement accounts, or you may have significant retirement accounts, but you have significant liabilities still. Let's say you have $700,000 in your retirement accounts, savings accounts, cash, your assets, but you have a $800,000 home that you still owe $700,000 on. That just removed your net worth you need to get out of that debt or lower that debt significantly as you're getting onto this retirement age if you want to be able to have that retirement. It, this is where you're at. Now, if you're above that, you're in a good situation. This, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this is the average person. This is the middle person, $266,000 of net worth. We have to find a way to reduce our expenses, increase that net worth, pay down our debts, and hit this hard. Otherwise, we could find ourselves working a lot longer than we want to. And then we have our 75 and older. Their net worth, the median, has dropped slightly to $254,800, and the mean, $977,600. Again, this is because they are most likely retired. They're spending down some of their assets now. They're not adding to it. And so this is why this is beginning to drop, and that's okay. That's normal. So here's the averages. If you want to see your net worth and you want something that monitors it and doesn't just take in consideration what you own and what you owe, it also takes in consideration your spending habits and gives you a financial health. Your heart financial health is important, and our Simply Money platform helps you track that. It shows you your net worth. You can add all your different accounts and it tracks it for you so you can watch it over time as it increases, hopefully. It's going up and you can monitor that and help set your goals. We have a place on the site where you can establish goals. You can have all sorts of goals, whether it's paying off debt, increasing savings, saving for a special situation, maybe a vacation or a new car, whatever the case may be. You set those goals. You establish how much you want to put toward that. And it monitors that and shows you your progress. All sorts of great tools on there. But the really nice one is this net worth where you can see what your net worth is and track it on a day-to-day, month-to-month, year-to-year basis. And I encourage you to get your free member key in the description below and check it out. It's free to check it out, to use for free. Many of the tools are absolutely free. All sorts of articles, videos, community connections in there that you can just get all your financial needs met in one place. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me on Simply Money, and we'll see you next time.